Hello, my dear students. How are you all? I hope you are fit and fine at your home. Before moving forward, first of all, I would like to extend my thanks to my subscribers as well as I would like to say thanks to those who have commented below the video, shared it to their friends and liked my videos. I hope you will keep supporting me. Thank you. Now students, today we shall study the rest part of the fourth chapter, the Vedic civilization of sixth standard history and civics subject. Okay student, in the previous video we have studied the Vedic literature. In Vedic literature we have studied four Vedas that are Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sam Veda and Athar Veda. Along this we have studied Brahmana, Aranyakas and Upanishadas. Okay student, have you understood this? Now, today we are going to study the rest part of this chapter. Okay students, then let's start. Students, we have learnt the Vedic period that is 1500 to 500 BCE is the period in the late Bronze Age and early Iron Age of the history of India when the Vedas were composed. Vedas contain detail of life during this period. So, today we shall study the family system and day-to-day -day life of Vedic civilization. Okay, student. So, we will begin with the family system of Vedic civilization. Let's learn students. Joint family system was established in the Vedic period. It was patriarchal or patrilineal or father line. Yes, student, do you know the meaning of patriarchal system of family? Yes, if you know or if you have any idea about it, you can type your answer in the comment box below the video. Now, let me tell you what is patriarchal family system. See student, patriarchal means a system of society or government in which the father or eldest male is head of the family. The Grepati was the head of family, a man who was the head of family. Okay students, now see, the old parents, wife and children, family of children, the younger brothers and their families were included in the family of Gripati or the patriarchal system of family. Okay, student, have you understood now? What do you mean by patriarchal family? Yes, in the patriarchal family, the father or the eldest male is head of the family. Have you understood, student? Yes. Can you tell me who is the head of your family? Yes, you can comment below the video. Okay, student. But students, in the initial period, we can find the references of women scholars too, who had composed some of the hymns of Rig Veda. For example, Lopa Mudra, Gargi and Maitri. Okay, student. And you better knew that Rig Veda was the first text of Veda. However, slowly the restrictions on women had gone increased and their position in the family and society became secondary. Okay, student, have you understood now the family system of the Vedic civilization? What kind of family we find in the Vedic civilization? joined family and it was patriarchal. Okay, now student we will learn about the houses of Vedic civilization. Let's learn. The houses during Vedic period were constructed of earthen or wattle and daub. Yes students, nowadays also 
if you visit any rural area then you can find some of the houses are made of earthen or wattle and daub what do you mean by wattle yes student do you know yeah let me tell you wattle means oven lattice or branches or strips of wood and it covers or coated with daub or animal or cow dung okay student or it covers with clay have you understood students yes very good a house was called griha or shala the word griha derived from sanskrit language in marathi we say ghar which is derived from griha the sanskrit word okay student have you understood now the houses in the vedic civilization the houses were made of wattle and daub as well as earthen yes student have you understood the houses in the vedic civilization yeah very good now we will move forward with the next point that is the diet of vedic civilization students we know that people were well settled in the vedic civilization or period and agriculture was also well developed credit of agriculture was given to women people started to store the food grains in the vedic period mainly cereals like wheat barley and rice were included in the diet of people words like yava godhum vrihi can be found in the vedic literature yava means barley godhum means wheat vrihi means rice you can see in the pictures so that you can understand what is actually bali godum and vrihi okay student do you like vrihi yes comment and tell me okay very good now next we will learn vedic period enjoyed milk yogurt ghee butter honey black gram that is urad lantin that is masoor sesame that is oil and meat were also a part of their diet okay student have you understood which are the things that were included in the diet of vedic people now we will learn about clothing of vedic period or the people of vedic period in the vedic period people used cotton and woolen garments they also used valkals or clothes made from barks of tree animal skins were also used as clothing students see the pictures so that you can understand what is actually valkals valkals as the clothes made from barks of the tree yes you know the barks of the tree yes with the help of that barks of the tree they used to make the clothes and they used to wear that clothes okay students as well as the people were using the animal skins as their clothing okay student now let's have information about the ornaments of vedic people men and women used the ornaments of gold flower garland strings made of beads what do you mean by beads students yes let me tell you small piece of glass stone or similar material that is threaded with other to make a necklace or rosary okay student have you understood very good a kind of pendant called nishka seems to have been popular yes student see the picture so that you can understand what is nishka okay 
it was also used as a currency yes understood students very good now next we will have information about art singing playing musical instruments dance board games chariot race and hunting were the means of recreation student what do you mean by recreation recreations means activity done for enjoyment when one is not working it means that if the people are not doing any work they try to enjoy themselves by singing playing musical instruments dance playing board games as well as racing racing of chariot and one of the most important recreational activity was hunting okay students now students we will learn about the other musical instruments and percussion instruments okay their main musical instruments were veena shat tantu cymbals and khank have you understood students very good now percussion instruments like dambru and mridanga were also used what do you mean by percussion students yes let's see musical instruments played by striking with the hand or with the stick or beater or by shaking including drums cymbals hexaphones gongs bells and rattles okay student have you understood what kind of instruments they used to play yes very good now students we shall study the next point that is agriculture animal husbandry economic and social life of vedic civilization or period first of all we will learn about agriculture of vedic period students as i have told you agriculture was well developed in vedic period agriculture was the main occupation during the vedic period india ranks second worldwide in the farm outputs and approximately 70% people of india are involved in agriculture in india today also okay students as we have studied in fifth standard women are credited to have started cultivation they might have used pointed sticks to sow seeds agriculture production increased considerably after the plow pulled by animals came into use many oxen were yoked together to plow the fields the plow had iron plow shears the atharva veda considers insects pests and other animals that destroy crops and suggest certain remedies cow dung was used as manure okay student have you understood about the agriculture in the vedic civilization now we will study about the animal husbandry yes student do you know what is animal husbandry yes if you have any idea about animal husbandry you can type your answer in the comment box below the video animal husbandry is the branch of agriculture concerned with the animals that are raised for meat fiber milk eggs or other products it includes day to day care breeding and the raising of livestock during vedic period animals like horses cows and dogs had special importance cows were used as means of exchange 
so cows were highly prized. People took special care to ensure that they would not be stolen. Horses were also very important for them because of horses speed. Vedic people were skilled in taming them. A student, what do you mean by taming? Taming means giving training to the animals and make them domestic so that they can live with men. Okay? As well as the horses were fastened to the chariots. Yes, student. The horses were fastened to chariots. What do you mean by chariots, student? A two-wheeled vehicle drawn by horses used in ancient racing and warfare. The wheels of chariots were made of spoke or rods which were lighter than solid wheels. The horse drawn and spoked wheels chariots of the Vedic period was swift and speedy. Students, can you tell me what is the measuring unit of power? Yes, can you type your answer in the comment box if you know the answer? Yes, very good. Now, let me tell you, horse power is a unit of measuring power, the rate of which work is done by an engine. Okay, student, have you understood now? Okay, so today what we have learned, we have learned about the family system and day-to-day -day life of Vedic civilization. First of all, we have studied the joint family system where we find the patriarchal system of family. Then we have studied about the houses of Vedic civilization, the diet, clothing, ornaments as well as art of Vedic civilization. After that, we have studied agriculture and animal husbandry in the Vedic civilization. Okay, students. In the next video, we are going to study the rest part of this chapter. Okay, student, have you understood? Very good. Let me know if you have understood or not by commenting below in the comment box. Okay, students, if you have liked this video, like it, share it to your friends, Comment below the video, subscribe it and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the current notification of my new videos. Thank you. Be connected.